all right hi leo thank you so much for clicking on this video so please keep in mind that this is a general reading so the messages may or may not resonate with you okay <laughs> um also this is a timeless reading so the messages may or may not resonate right now so i suggest you come back later all right so i don't like doing long intros but leo let's get into your channeled messages my hair is looking crazy i feel like i look crazy i feel like i got, I got a freaking um a mane yeah i got a lion's mane i don't know what's going on with my hair right now but whatever whatever yeah so, Leo, when I was meditating on your energy, the channeled messages slash song that I got for you was Bob Marley, Sun is Shining. So in the song, he says to the rescue, here I am, right? And it's funny. <laughs> so this is why I wrote this. It was funny because I was thinking about my cat, you know, Leo's a lion. I was like, wait a minute, Leo the Lion. I was thinking about my cat, so it made sense that this song came on Shuffle Next. All right, so again, it was Bob Marley's Sun is Shining, and he says, to the rescue, here I am. So why I was thinking about my cat was because, I don't know, I was laughing, but not really laughing, but like, you know, kind of appreciating the fact that like your pets really do care about their humans <laughs> you know um so basically like i was thinking about a few times where my friend was hurt and this is a friend that's been around me for quite some time you know so i guess my cat picked up on his energy too so uh, my friend hurt himself and he like shrieked really loudly so my cat ran over to him and it was really funny because like you saw the concern in my cat's face so i was like oh at first i'm like i felt kind of messed up because you know obviously someone's hurting but i'm like focused on the cat showing affection so i don't know i don't know i just, I just had to tell you that because i was like okay yeah i was thinking about my cat there we go with leo the lion right now we got Bob Marley, sun is shining. And he definitely has a bigger mane than me. Well, he had a bigger mane than me, right? <laughs> okay, so to the rescue, here I am. Leo, is that you to someone else or is that someone else to you, i.e. spirit or another human? <laughs> you know, do you have a human on the way to the rescue? We'll see. So the next channel message. Um... Yeah, in the song, he says, I'm a rainbow too. I can't remember what he says before that. I think he says, you're a rainbow or something like that. But he says, I'm a rainbow too. So basically, it's like someone or spirit is resonating with your energy. And I feel like you are giving out almost wounded warrior vibes. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but I feel like that's kind of the energy Leo, maybe you're needing support in some area or aspect of your life and someone or spirit is picking up on that call, okay? Even if it's been a silent call, Leo. So the next channel message is pay attention to animals around you. Um, so I wasn't thinking about my cat at this point, right? <laughs> I had already got past that fact, but I feel like what I heard was um, really to pay attention to the animals around you. If you have pets or you just, you know, go outside in nature and you notice the animals acting weird or some sort of weird behavior, I feel like you need to just take note of that. Take note of that. Take note of the type of animal, what you were thinking about when you saw them behaving weird, and also how that um maybe a omen for you so usually what i do is like type in the spiritual meaning of x y and z like okay for example the spiritual meaning of a blue jay right so yeah with that um weird behavior i put is it really 
So, Leo, I feel for some of you, like something could be off or feels off, but honestly, it's not really, quote, off. It's more so asking for a shift or a change somewhere. So we'll get into that later. Also with the animals um, message, right? I feel like, okay, what I put is, is something just a part of someone's nature or is something just a part of your nature, Leo? So is there something that you do or someone does that might feel off or weird, but honestly, it's a part of someone's nature. So I don't know, take that as how it resonates for now <laughs> until we get into the cards. But yeah, for example, something might something you do might be weird to other people, but that's just you or vice versa. All right, so we'll get into that. Also, Leo, next channel message is what comes to you naturally and with that don't force anything else so what comes to you naturally what are you a natural at leo um because i feel like right now if you're trying to force anything else that is uh is against your nature you're gonna have a bad time <laughs> okay i feel like you're gonna have a bad time that's like seeing the lions in the polar bear's den. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's like the, the temperatures, nothing is right for that, you know, for that lion to thrive. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like anything that's going against your nature, but yet you're trying to make it fit, I'm, I, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm going to need you to stop. All right, <laughs> but we didn't get into the cards yet. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right. Okay, yeah, another specific message for some of you. I was talking about my hair being all crazy, but I forgot I wrote this shit down. Anyway, some of you, your hair might be growing really fast. I don't know who needed to hear that. Yes, your hair is gonna be growing really fast, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah. Let's say you don't have hair, right? Let's say you, you like to keep the baldy or you like to keep it short, right? What I feel like Spirit is saying your hair is growing is basically your antennas, your connection to nature. Okay, here we go, back to that nature. Your connection to nature is um, getting stronger. All right, so your antennas are growing, Leo. So if your hair has been growing really fast, that's a good sign. If you've been, Oh, I'm hearing getting like a tingle in your scalp. That's a good sign. Yeah. All right. So your antennas are coming now and they, they want to get wild and crazy. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, Leo. Um, also, when I was meditating on your energy, I just kept seeing the sun card and the strength card. And both of those cards represent you. But like I said, I ain't pulling no cards yet. This is just a channel of messages. Um but yeah, that's that's definitely you being in your energy. It's kind of dark. I don't know. Is the lighting kind of dark? Let me pause this. I don't know if that really did much, but hey, <laughs> I put a light on. So yeah, like I said, the sun card and the strength card just kept coming to my mind. And you guys know, on the strength card, there's a woman and a lion, and she's basically taming the lion. So yeah, I just see you. Um, if you're not already in your element, excuse me, you need to be, excuse me, confirmation, <laughs> you need to be more in your element. I also put learn to be more of yourself. So that's going back into that nature. What is your, what is in your nature? So let's get into the cards. Leo, Bob Marley, sun is shining to the rescue. Here I am. So, are you rescuing someone? Is spirit rescue? Oh, ha 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 ha! <laughs> Gosh dang it, diddly darn. All right, diddly, diddly darn, Leo. What is that? 
What is that? I told you, I don't pull no cards until I'm on camera with y'all, okay? So the sun card, I told you, I kept just seeing the sun card and the strength card and it's just like, okay, that's definitely Leo. But like I said, here you are in your element. Like, I don't know, I feel like I keep shifting around. I feel like you got me on the edge of my seat. What is, what is, is something good? Something good is coming. Okay, because to the rescue, here I am. Who we got? The Knight of Cups. Okay, we got the Knight of Cups. So this is speaking about an offer being made to you. Something that is emotionally satisfying. So to the rescue, who that is? The world. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. You got the world. So that's definitely spirit coming in. And if spirit want to come through as a person, oh my gosh. Wow, that got really nasty really quick because right under that, <laughs> his spirit want to come through as a human. Let me finish my thought. They will send you a human. Just remember I told you about the cat and cats are, well, your pets or animals. When they have a familiar, you, the human, <laughs> they will pick up on your emotional cues. So I was going to say it got nasty because I said they will send you someone. And all I saw was the royal serpent. Okay. If you catch, oh, Lord, right under that is the empress. If you catch my drift, the royal serpent and someone is ready and willing to receive the royal serpent. Okay. If you're a, a, a male, a masculine you know, you, you, you don't receive the royal serpent. <laughs> you are going to be blessed with someone who wants to receive all of your loving and care and TLC and all of that good shit. Damn, I feel like she, oh Lord, I'm hearing the grippers. But anyway, she gonna hold on tight. Cause look at it, I feel like she, I don't know. I usually don't look at the card like that, but what's in her hand? Focus, damn it. There we go. I usually don't look at what's in her hand, but yeah, I feel like she holding that. What is that? I don't know. It looked like a trophy. Yeah, she holding that trophy. Extra tight. So if you're a masculine, both of you are the prize. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Both of you are going to be the prize. And when you get two prizes together, I don't know what that equals. That equals... I don't know abundance, but I feel like there's a, a word bigger than abundance. I still feel like I'm on the edge of my seat. What the hell? Leo, to the rescue. I feel like if this is you, like I said, if this is you. If you are going to, or if you feel like you want to offer someone love, they are ready to receive it. And more than just, you know, my nasty mind, sex, right? You get right to the point. They think it more than just sex. More than just that. It's it's like, whew. but if you don't got no love offers in mind or you don't know who who's gonna make a love offer to you, this is spirit about to lay down the law and, and tell you, hey, hey, Leo, you deserve this, Leo. <laughs> Whatever you've been wishing for, I feel like this was for a long time coming, a very long time coming. You, you've been patient with something and then you got impatient for a little bit and then you was like, you know what? I'll be patient again and here it is. Oh my God. Leo, I tell you, I, I, I tell you, I, t I thought I taught a putty tap. I taught I taught a putty tap. I tell you, I don't make this shit up. We, I know it's spelled wrong on the cards. Look, this ain't my deck, okay? This ain't my deck, but it's spelled wrong. What I said, what I said, I just kept seeing you in your element. The sun card, strength. You can't really tell it's a lion on this one because, you know, it's actual people, but hey. <laughs> sun card and strength. Like I said, spirit is saying to the rescue, here I am. Are you, are you ready? Cause like I said, I feel like you was patient. <clears throat> this Knight of Cups, you was patient. And then you got impatient for a little bit. So you got frustrated. And then you realized to be patient again. And then that's when it comes in. That's when it comes in. Ooh. Ooh. 
ooh, ooh, ooh. Leo. Leo. Leo, like I said, I'm still, like I said, man, I'm still, like I said, man, you got me stuttering. You got me stuttering. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat because when I said I saw you, I saw you. So is someone watching you? Tower. <laughs> Tower at the bottom of the deck. Is somebody watching you? Because they're they trying to, they trying to, oh Lord, rip all your walls down. In a good way though, so that they can make sure that you're stable. Spirit, if it's not a person, spirit is, is going to rip down everything. Like I said, you went through that whole cycle of learning patience all over again. So now it could be rebuilt. Don't see this tower as something bad. That's something real, real good. Real, real good. You just had to learn a, a, a lesson. But some of you know what specific, exactly what specific lesson it was. And it's something, like I said, I'm, I'm hearing, I keep hearing it. Like it's something that you learn how to be patient on, then you got frustrated again, and then you learn how to be patient again, and that was a lesson. It was just like, okay, yeah, Leo claimed to, to be patient, but is Leo really patient? So spirit tests you one more again, one more again. And you pass, baby. Three of cups, you pass the test. You pass the test to the rescue. Somebody wanna, wanna, either take what you got <laughs> or or give you something good tell me i'm here to tell me something good mm -hmm. tell me that you love me mm -hmm. yeah yeah t tell me and yeah, i tell me leo do you love me do you like me leo do you like me Really? <laughs> I'm hearing it like that. Like someone's like, really? All right, I'm gonna show you something. Like it's like, really? I gotta make sure you really like me. I gotta make sure you really like me because I got something big for you. Uh -huh, I gotta make sure you, you done cleared up all them battles. Leo, why? You got me like a kid because no other sign had me like rocking in my chair and doing all this foolishness. What the hell? The sun card does represent children as well. So there could be like a childlike energy about you, like you're renewing, I hear renewing your inner child. Or this relationship is gonna bring like a healthy childlike energy, a healthy innocence, or you just pregnant. You know, it's something about the energy of children, however it manifests for you, Leo. Oh, okay. This is going. This is very, very specific for some of you, because this is what I just heard. Because this is going into what Bob Marley said. I'm a rainbow too. So, like I said. Some of you might be having rainbow babies. So with that being said, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, yes. Six of cups. Yes. And look at that. Like I said, it's, it's a older adolescent male and a young, young female. So like I said, rainbow babies. I was going to say, but I is going to say I was and I is and I am saying congratulations if you're having a rainbow baby. Because that baby is divine as fuck. <laughs> Put it like that. That baby is divine as a mofo. Okay? So, if you're having a rainbow baby, or if you went through that traumatic experience okay for those of you who are connecting with this if you went through that traumatic experience congratulations page of pentacles yeah 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 spirit wants something new a babe this is very much childlike this pages are babies but like that babies compared to the rest of the pentacles okay so yeah spirit wants to bring something into the physical for you 
All right, if it's not a rainbow baby, but no, fuck it. They said that's that's that was a specific message for some of you. Okay, moving on. Whoever needed to hear that, congratulations. Moving on. <clears throat> um. Yeah. So spiritual help. I'm a rainbow too. Oh, oh, oh! You saw that. <laughs> All right, so we have the moon card. Spiritual help. I'm a rainbow too. So Leo, you got the moon card. So we got the sun and the moon. So let's just, look at, look at here. We got you or spirit illuminating something. There was a period of darkness, which I'm still hearing that rainbow baby message. That period of darkness is going to clear up. All right, if if your rainbow baby is not a, a child, <laughs> per se, and your baby is a creation, after a period of darkness, your creation will come into fruition, okay? More, I feel like more is going to manifest physically. You're going to see more physical results of what you're trying to do. All right, Leo? So, woo. Like I said, you came out. You show you showed the fuck out right right away. Like right away. Didn't even give me a chance to say hello. Like what? <laughs> okay. So Leo, pay attention to the animals around you because they may have weird behavior, right? But like I said, what is weird behavior? Is it really weird? Paying attention to animals. This is, la, la, la. <laughs> this could even be in your dreams. Let me clip this and come right back. All right? So if you've been having dreams about animals, pay attention to like okay, yeah, like I said, certain animal coming to you in your dream. Look up the spiritual meaning of that animal and see how it resonates with your energy. Okay. For example, if you have a dream. <laughs> I'm hearing like a scary dream. Like we have a dream where some an animal is attacking you. Let's say, for example, you usually love cats. You usually love dogs. And in your waking life, they love you too. But in your dreams, they're attacking you. All right? So you got to see. I feel like what part, I hear what part of, of you are you attacking? Mm. Card fell. I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> Damn it. Hold on. All right, so what part of you are you attacking with the emperor? Okay, let me tell you something about the emperor. Yeah, it's a sprinkle is <laughs> shooting on. So let me tell you something about the emperor. The emperor, yes, he got all the power. And he knows how to run an empire, but he could definitely self-sabotage. So hopefully that background is not too loud and annoying, but yeah, that I feel like that fits the message. Anyway, you can definitely self-sabotage and sometimes you need to throw some water on his ass and tell him to cool the fuck down because Leo, you are a fire sign. You are a fire sign and I almost wanted to call you Pisces earlier, but I didn't say it. I didn't say it, okay, I didn't say it. <laughs> but you need to cool the fuck down. Yeah, with this moon card too. You know, nighttime's a little cooler. In the daytime, you're all out in your element, but there's something about the darkness. So the darkness is representing the shadow aspects of yourself. The shadow aspects of yourself, Leo. So like I said, pay attention to the animals. And on this, there's, yeah, the moon card is wolves. And a scorpion. Lunatic. I don't know. Lunatic. That's what I'm hearing. Someone could be crazy. Or acting crazy. Or like I said. It could be weird behavior to you. But that's just of their nature. So let's look a little deeper into that. Let's see. 
let's take a look at that other person quickly quickly i feel like already i don't want to stay in their energy because i heard lunatic <laughs> so quickly quickly i keep hearing that quickly quickly just let's let's just see what's going on with them and go away i don't know so is someone trying to do that to you yeah oh strength card in reverse so here here you are popping out again in reverse but i feel like this is someone else's energy someone trying to do that to you like quickly quickly let's let's see what leo's doing and just get out the energy it's like small talk someone who you know you really shouldn't be making small talk with because like there's so much more to be said hmm Maybe with the emperor and the moon, they feel like they're going to self-sabotage if they get too deep on a certain topic, Leo. Let's see what card fell out. Yeah, mm -hmm, exactly what the fuck I said. Page of Swords. Look, just look at the card. Doesn't that look like a form of communication? And then remember I told you the strength card had the lion on it being tame, but it was in reverse right so like i said um if this is another person it's like they come in quickly quickly they speak fast or they have they only offer small talk when they really want to like i don't know they really want to get all in your business i'm hearing all in your grill i, I sung that to freaking aquarius <laughs> so you might want to watch aquarius's reading um yeah it's like they really want to know more about you but they're scared or something four wands and this is a person that who you already dealt with in the past right and shit been rocky with this tower here shit been real 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 rocky especially with this moon tower on the moon this is another person i feel like for one, they're on the edge of their seats trying to trying to figure out your next move, trying to figure out your reaction to something because they know they messed up. So how would Leo react to this? So they might behaving be behaving um really weird. Like it's not them. They're maybe they're too nice. That's what I'm getting, like, someone's being too nice, but you know it's like, what else do you want to say to me? <laughs> right? Really? Another form of communication. So, yeah, they go from being, it's because they're in, it's because they're in their head and in their feelings. So, like I said, this is someone who is scared or they just have the energy of a scary ass person. Like, they're just scary. That's what I'm getting like I don't know but I feel like you rejected them In the past or You said Something and it it, it sounded Like a roar <laughs> Right it sounded like a fucking Lion's roar and they was just like I'm gonna head out But not really Because I'm gonna come back in with the Knight of Cups I'm gonna come back in and act like I'm in this emperor energy, but really like behind the scenes, I'm in this moon energy, confused, don't know what to say and hope, maybe hope you don't find out about something. Mm, no, I don't know. Like I said, Leo, quickly, quickly, we, we out this energy already. I'm about to put these cards back, but if that's another person. I don't know if you should really take them back, especially if you dealt with them before, like I said, I don't know if you should take them back. Let's see if this is a new person. What the hell y'all got me doing a love reading? This is a new person and you find them kind of weird. Let's see what's happening here. What's happening here? <laughs> like, what is happening here? I feel like you, you're asking yourself this, like, God, why? Why God? God, why? <laughs> Ten of Wands? Ugh. Ten of Wands in reverse. Mm hmm. Bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles in reverse. This is a new person and they act really weird. 
I'm hearing they really just don't got their shit together, but I feel like it's more so on a financial, excuse me. Yeah, bottom, that was full. It's more so, if they're acting weird, they feel like they don't have their shit together financially, so they still want to make attempts, but like low-key hope, I don't know. It's like they low-key hope you don't accept their offer yeah someone's weird that's how someone operates if this is a new person i don't know be careful in your love life right now <laughs> i don't know if someone's acting weird and is this is a romantic relationship someone has a weird way of showing affection because i'm feeling like like i said this is a new person like Maybe they're not that confident, but they still want to be macho or I don't know what a feminine version of that would be. They just want to be, they act like they could show up, but not really. I don't know. Star, <laughs> star upright. Like they act like, I don't know. This, yeah, this person is weird. Weird, weird energy in your love life. Two of cups under that. Under the star cards, the two of cups. Weird energy in your love life, Leo. But I feel like someone really wants to make an offer. Okay, for some of you, right? Because like I said, this is a general reading. For some of you. <laughs> um, someone is coming in to make a really big offer but they're shaky on whether you're gonna accept the offer because low key they have confidence issues. If this is an old person, I don't know, I feel like someone's being fake nice because they see you wanna come up and they want a piece of that, that shiny, strong Leo. But if you ain't dealing with nobody, you, you single, 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 right? <laughs> this is spirit coming in with a good offer for you. Damn, we are getting the same cards, different decks. I had cut the deck. We had the tower in reverse. We had the moon card. So we're getting the same cards in reverse. It's like something's going to come full circle. But either way, spirit gonna come through. <laughs> Put it like that. It might not be a person, but either way, spirit gonna come through. All right? So, yeah, I'm gonna move on from that weird behavior because it was weird. It was weird. Right? So, what comes to you naturally? Or what comes naturally to you? I feel like this is more so speaking about what innate talents and gifts you have, Leo. Ooh, ooh, cards want to fall out that um, that you possess, that you're overlooking. All right, so some of you could be overlooking a talent. Now, like I said, I also put don't force anything else. So if something isn't feeling like. Mm, like I'm seeing someone trying to put the square peg into the circle slot of the puzzle. Yeah, don't force it. I'm not saying don't try. It's something creative you're doing. It's, yeah, judgment. Judgment, well, what else? I feel like something's on the back of that, no? Just judgment, okay. Just judgment, it just, it's just your judgment. <laughs> it's just your judgment of the situation, Leo. So yeah, there's something that you're doing creatively, but I feel like there's an aspect that you're really trying to force. The spirit is saying, don't force it, because that's our job, <laughs> right? It, it's, it's your job to let go and understand, damn, the same card again, the moon card, to let go and understand what faith means, Leo. Use your best judgment. Like I said, it's, you can't put the square into the round. It just won't fit. But if someone else has a template, i.e. spirit, has a template for you to put the square into the square, then that's where it will go. 
Right now, you just have certain pieces. But it's for you to trust, use your better judgment that spirit will give you the rest. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you, this is all going back to that first kind of channel message. It's like you had to learn patience all over again. Yup, the hangman. So we got the hangman, ten of cups in reverse, lovers in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse. So the only thing upright was the hangman. <laughs> it was all the waiting game. All of this could be upright, but it's just all the waiting game. It was up. It was for you to realize. Dang it, you gotta go through that shit again. But it's okay. Now I'm hearing this twice as nice. <laughs> it's twice as nice now. So if this is a relationship you let go, you won't get something that's twice as nice. A business opportunity, you won't get it twice as nice. <laughs> okay? But if you don't learn how to let go, then you're just going to have that one single, right? That one single fart. One single whiff. <laughs> All right? Dang it, you popping out again and again and again. It's a lot of cards. And again and again. God damn, did it again. Spirit, look. You had the strength card again popping out. Well, this is the sun. You got the sun card popping out again. Strength card popping out again. Sun card popping out again. So like I said, the only thing we got here to worry about is this devil, queen of pentacles, and seven of swords. But I feel like that ain't, that's not a big issue. It's It's... So what? That was the lesson learned. That was the test. So let's move on. Oh, let's move on. Yeah, like I said, for some of you, specific message, your hair is growing. Oh, look. We're going to pick that one up like that because I don't feel like bending now. <laughs> All righty. So your hair is growing. We have the page of wands a lot of pages so a lot of thought and action but like i said if your hair is not growing you don't grow your hair out your antennas your spiritual antennas are growing if you've been feeling like your head been tingling lately or maybe you even had headaches lately please i'm not well, well first of all i'm not a doctor i'm not a doctor so take what i say right now with a grain of salt but anyway if you've been getting headaches <laughs> you know minor headaches that come in passing i feel like that spirit kind of tapping literally tapping into you working on your head doing doing really really leo how many times you gonna keep popping out the sun card again like I said, I, what, this ain't even twice as nice no more. What is this? Three? It's thrice. <laughs> thrice is nice. Not once, not twice, but thrice. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um. Damn, Leo. D -d 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 damn. And we got the moon card again. So, yeah. Like I said, d -d -d damn. Things are coming to light. But, yeah. Like I said, your antennas are going, uh, growing. You hear tingling of the scalp, passing headaches, okay? Like I said, I ain't no doctor. I ain't no doctor. I don't know. I, look, 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 look. I'm time, y'all. I know most of us here are adults. Okay, but I also heard, really the emperor again? What the hell? You guys are really throwing me off. It's like everything is matching up. The emperor in this deck, the emperor in that deck again. But anyway, I know we are adults here. But I'm also hearing for some of you, your teeth are growing back. <laughs> Take that how it resonates. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Your teeth are going back. Something about your teeth growing back, or just something like really nah. This is okay, Leo. You getting annoying now? 
you getting real annoying. Sun card again. How many times I'm gonna shuffle and get the same card to you? Ugh, Lord. Like at this point, I want to use a different deck because it's just like I keep getting the same thing. But it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. So yeah, your antennas are growing. They also saying um like look up the spiritual spiritual awakening symptoms or symptoms of a spiritual awakening spirit i'm a laugh spirits wow yeah spirits in the crown chakra because that's what i was thinking about um symptoms of crown chakra awakening because like i said it's very much giving me head in the mind but more more like head spirits tapping on your brain on the noggin <laughs> you know knocking on the noggin Spirit is knocking on your noggin. All right. So yeah, yeah, I don't even feel like this is going to be a really long reading because I feel like someone is going to match your energy in a good way or spirit is going to match your energy in a really good way. Like I said, you've been, I don't know, the doubling up, tripling up. <laughs> I don't know how many times the same cards came out. It's like you doubling, you're tripling, quadrupling. I don't know how to say it in five times, six times, uh, six couple of dins, all of that. Rainbow babying is going to be twice as nice. Twice as nice. Let's pull an oracle card because the last channel message that I had after um, your hair is growing. Yeah, get up was the sun <laughs> and the strength card so i said i already see you in your element learning to be more of yourself and showing more of yourself so the sun card and the strength card popped out about a million and million and one times before you know i even pulled the cards for you so like i said i don't think this is going to be too long here i feel like spirit is just wrapping it up tying up yep tying up the loose ends for you leo you have desiree Desiree says, no, conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. So, yeah, Leo, like I said, spirit going to the rescue, like they said, <laughs> like Bob Marley says, son, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, you see, this is what happens. Usually when the reading is coming to a close, Spirit would like repeat the messages. So I didn't even peep the song, his name, the name, Bob Marley, Sun is Shining. And I channeled the sun, but I really wasn't paying attention to the title of the song. I was really paying attention to what he said, to the rescue, here I am. And then the line about, I'm a rainbow too. So, yeah, Spirit is just like, let me just wrap this up for Leo because we don't need no long talk in here. That's okay. That's probably that small talk energy. Like I said, if you're not dealing with a, uh, another person, that's that small talk energy. Spirit Spirit is like, look, 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 look. At this point, we just need you to say hello. <laughs> we just need you to shine bright, Leo, like how you always do right just say hello to us and yeah that's it and say thank you you know hi thank you because they they doing all the the rescue and all the background work they're making sure that everything is tied up so let me clip this and come right back yeah so what else i feel like i was gonna say something else about that sun is shining what was i gonna say Sun is shining. Um, so you might be seeing doubles, triples, even quadruple numbers. Like for example, you might see 11. Then you might see 111. Then you might see 1111. So that's 1111. You know, so you might, there's something about something moving in increments for you. Something is moving in increments. But it will move 
okay what i'm seeing is like it's going to move in increments but that doesn't mean slow movement it means like you're going to be able to track your progress a lot easier than you did before that's probably why you wasn't feeling like I don't know, that's why you was probably giving up that wounded warrior energy, pig. Yeah, oh, wow. So let's let's get into that. It's from my... All right, Leo, because this is definitely a confirmation. So let me finish what I was saying. That's probably why you was giving off that wounded warrior energy. So maybe spirit was picking that up or someone else was picking that up. Um, but yeah, something is going to be easier for you to track because probably in the past you weren't able to track something. So it felt like you weren't making progress, even though you really did make progress. That's why Spirit is here to rescue you because they still see you down. But just know you did make progress, but now you're going to be able to track it a lot better. And I feel like that's going to be it. Yeah, that's going to be the thing that really boosts your confidence with the sun and the emperor. You being able to see and notice your own progress. I feel like you get congratulations a lot. Like you hear, oh my God, you're great or whatever it is. But it's something like you don't feel like you see the progress. But when you... The, here's, what, here's what I'm hearing. Like you feel the best when you see progress in yourself. It doesn't matter if other people have seen it. It's about you. So let's get into that. So the cards that we had here was pig. Why I made that face is because I told you about my cat, right? I cannot do lie. That says cat. This is pig. All right. So I gave you that whole story about my cat coming to the rescue, showing affection. Right. So Leo, let's let's take a look at this pig card, right? So with this pig card, it definitely confirms you being um well, first of all, it confirms a few messages. Let's go into you being more of yourself, showing up more for yourself, and also um weird behavior in something being of someone's nature, right? So when we think about pigs, most people are like Ugh, they're dirty, they're either weird or, you know, there's something off about the pig usually when people think about it. But pigs are very intelligent, right? Pigs are very intelligent and they are a prime, prime, with this primitive here, a prime example of being in their nature. They don't give a fuck if they want to roll around in the mud and be dirty and oink oink. <laughs> so be it they're a pig they're going to be a pig they're always going to be misunderstood so what's the point of forcing themselves to be understood right going back to that square in the circle right pigs are highly misunderstood i even put it on the card pigs are highly misunderstood but they're highly intelligent as well but you know like i said it is what it is they're understood but um, they're also very valuable. <laughs> valuable, there's a lot of people like bacon, but think about it, a pig, piggy bank. So like I said, there's something creative that would, creative that you're doing or an idea or something, something around you might feel off, but it's not really off, it's really for you to tweak it. Okay, so then we had a cat. So I'm seeing the youthfulness, independence. Yeah, remember? Definitely goes into the youth, youthfulness and independence. Remember I told you about that whole childlike energy around you, children. If you don't have children, it's you finding your inner child, renewing your inner child, so on and so forth. Inviting a innocence back into your life. All right, so that's what that's speaking about. But again with independence in a way where you cannot be easily manipulated i want to say controlled but like i don't know <laughs> i feel like manipulated is a better word right leo so you know 
you could be in a childlike energy, but no one's going to treat you like a child <laughs> and you're not being childish. Okay, Leo. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like, you know, this shit, this shit. This really was not a long reading. I don't know. But let's get into the Scrabble. Let's close it off with the Scrabble. Let's see what words spirit that. What's the word from spirit for Leo? Sun is shining. I'm a rainbow too. Nature, your hair, your antennas, and you being in your element. Damn, that's a lot. Usually I don't pull this much. <laughs> Let me show you how much. Usually I don't pull this much. Alright, so we, we could keep it like that. You could keep it like that. For now. For now. For now. For now. Oh, we got a blank. So blank speak about new opportunities. New beginnings. New things on the horizon. Leo. Alright, let's see what we got here. I see street. I hear on the block. So I don't know. Maybe you you was like, I'm hearing like a hood star. Something about the streets, man. The streets was calling your name before. Or you used to be for the streets, but you're not about to be for the streets no more because spirit is about to take your ass off the streets or someone else is about to take your ass off the streets because like they want you. I see car. So street car. Mm -hmm. Pull up. Someone might want to pull up on you, baby. Q. QT. Because <laughs> you're a QT. Can we spell out legend? But I see legend as well. Legend. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We could spell out legend. I feel like this is a, either you or look, this is for those of you who, who gonna have them rainbow babies. That baby gonna be a, not only a cutie pie, they gonna be a legend. So there's something about that, yeah. If you've been, if you went through that experience, it's gonna come back around, but in the best way possible. Cat, I'm hearing cat. Cap and gown. So if you are in school and you're near the end, congratulations. You're going to get your cap and gown. Or this is speaking about you stepping up spiritually. And spirit is giving you your cap and gown. The prover proverbial uh, cap and gown, right? The metaphorical one. Hick. What is a hick? H-I-C. What's a hick? I gotta look that up. Hick, hick. <laughs> hick, used in writing to express the sound of a hiccup, especially a drunken one. Cap. So cap and hick. So someone could be lying like that's cap or they're because they're like a drunken fool. I don't know. So I'm, I'm, but I'm here it's like more innocent, like someone who's drunk and they just talk shit. But they don't really mean it. <laughs> so I don't know. Take that how it resonates. Cause I'm also one of, like I I see loud. We have one of these over here. So I see loud. Cap, hick, yeah, nothing but cap. They be uh, when they freaking drunk, <laughs> loud as hell. What else we got? I see land, be taking flights. Long. What is that? Larn. 
Okay, so LARN is a computer game. L-A-R-N. LARN. It can take many hours and tens or even hundreds of thousands of game turns to beat the game. Damn. So look up LARN, the game. So like I said, legend. Someone might be unstoppable. Leo, you unstoppable? Are you unstoppable? Let me bring this back up. That thing's so wobbly. That's why I hate this thing. But Leo, are you unstoppable? Because that LARN, L-A-R-N game said it could take even hundreds of thousands of game turns to beat Legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Cap. I'm hearing that's Cap. Someone, someone thought you being a legend or like you can't beat me. That was Cap. Oh, no, no. Watch this, watch this with the hick, hiccup. Yeah, it was too loud and proud, so I don't know. That could be for some of you, but I feel like this is very playful. I don't know if you hear my people in the background, but I don't know. For some of you, I feel like, yeah, you're gonna be a legend at something, and someone will be like, that's cat, and you're gonna be able to prove them like, <laughs> with some sort of game, right? It's a game to you. It's easy. Ooh. Like I said, two is easy to you. Something gonna double up, multiply, times tables. All right, Leo. So congratulations, cause you a star. You's a legend. You 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 use a legend, Leo. Leo the legend. <laughs> You're not just a lion. You're not lying. You're not lying. That's not cap. That's not cap. Nah. Leo the legend. Champ is here. The champ is here. And that's you, Leo. Peace out. <laughs> oh, wait. Thank you so much for watching. Where well, I'm going? I so said thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you want to book a personal, all that will be down below. All right, now, peace out. Bye. <laughs>